Welcome back, it's your favorite street rat here, Last Known Meal, and today we're going to talk about multiplayer and mods in Cyberpunk 2077. Over the past couple of weeks, I was asked by a number of people what do I think about these two, and the discussion is always brought up in our Cyberpunk 2077 community podcast. So first off, a while ago CD Projekt announced that multiplayer is no longer in R&D stage, but rather becoming something that will be included into the game after the release. CD Projekt Red official Twitter account came out and posted a job listing for multiplayer. They said that, as we're getting closer to launching a single-player Cyberpunk 2077 in April of 2020, we'd like to confirm that multiplayer is in the works. The plan for now is to deliver Cyberpunk 2077 in April, then follow up with free DLCs like it was for The Witcher 3, and also other single-player content. In my opinion, expansions first, then multiplayer, and then after all of that, invite you for some multiplayer action. These are great news, and yes, multiplayer was teased for a very long time, by Kaczynski, by a lot of people involved in the project, and this is just them doubling down on it and saying, yes, no more rumors and speculations, just listen to us, we are making the multiplayer. And we still don't know how it's going to look like, or if it's going to be a part of Cyberpunk 2077, like with an option of single player and multiplayer. There were also some saying that it might be a separate game, like a separate install, which could be free or something you pay. Honestly, I think it's just going to be implemented into 2077 as an optional thing. How are they going to monetize that? I have no clue. I just want to play PvP against people or solve missions with my friends, if I had any. Currently, CD Projekt Red is hiring for 8 positions in Wrocław, like design director, game designer, lead QA analyst, network programmer and more. Now, even though some are afraid of this idea that CD Projekt will abandon single player and become this notorious money grab multiplayer company is justified, but in the case of CD Projekt, completely false. The reason why you hate multiplayer now is because companies like EA, Ubisoft, Activision, Epic, Bethesda made you hate it. Their predatory microtransactions and business ventures into getting more money from players created this cloud of fear that whenever someone says multiplayer, everyone is like, shh, don't do it. And I honestly believe that we need companies like CD Projekt that are willing to actually create a fun multiplayer experience with only optional microtransactions that we can also obtain ourselves. Look at Warframe, the game worked by an amazing studio, pumping out free content for a free game with minimal microtransactions. They are doing fine, they are just not greedy. Same with 2077, CDPR knows their company is based around single player games and the respect they have for the community. That is not going to change because they venture into something new, remember, they are expanding, this was only a logical move, and this is not CD Projekt going into multiplayer and microtransactions for the first time. Gwent has microtransactions, it is multiplayer, and no one is complaining that it's predatory. Now my wishlist for multiplayer is to have PvP as well as PvE. Imagine going into a mission with one or two friends working together to either smash everyone or go in like ghosts and actually hack stuff. But also shooting those friends in the face in PvP would be also fun. And that last but not least, racing. Racing through Night City, racing outside of Night City with other people is fun. No friends? Join our Discord and find people to play with. I also hope that netcode will be good, if there is one thing none of us wants, it's high ping and crashing. Especially if you want to create a way for people to roleplay together and get immersed into this world together, because immersion is what CD Projekt Red is aiming for when it comes to cyberpunk. Now let's talk about mods and why they're important. First off, I have a video about mods in general coming out, but for me mods are a way for the game to be alive for years after it comes out. There are many talented people out there and generally it gives you so many things to work with and new missions to discover. The possibilities are endless for as long as the developers provide a good toolset. But has the new this. They did betray the community in the end, but Skyrim today on Steam has more than 10,000 players and that's only on Steam. And keep in mind, this game came out ages ago. Now The Witcher 3 also has 11,000 people playing, but 
just imagine, just imagine how many more people would have been there if they released a red kit for that game. The mod kit was not enough. So, City Project Red is capable of creating a game that even years after it comes out has like 11,000 people just on Steam. You still have to think about GOG, you still have to think about consoles and everything else. But if they are capable of creating a game which has 11,000 people on one platform, even today, imagine if it had mods. It would be cool. Now for Cyberpunk, they did promise a proper toolset that people can really create something new. And in my opinion, it's one of the best decisions they can implement. Now, are the mods going to work and tie in with multiplayer? I don't think so. Mods are never allowed in multiplayer, so don't expect them to be there, because some mods can actually break the immersion, they can break the game, they can break multiplayer, so a lot of those mods are not going to be allowed in multiplayer, and I don't know if some are going to be allowed, or if CD Projekt is going to find a way to um, include the mods in multiplayer in a very respectful way, but that is yet to be seen. But for single player mods can give you so many things, going from simple quality of life improvements all the way to new missions crafted from scratch. And I think tools are coming before multiplayer, at least that would kinda make sense. Now don't be afraid, people will still create mods, but usually the implementation is difficult and without the right tools, the modders are very limited in what they can do. Also, I had people complaining that because a CD Projekt is going to work on multiplayer and they're going to work on this uh, toolkit that um, the single player and updates are going to be forgotten, that uh, they will pull people from, from that uh, single player um, team to work on something else. It doesn't happen like that, and doing that would be extremely stupid and... Judging from everything that they um, decided to do before, I don't think anyone in the company, any manager is going to do anything remotely related to that. So don't worry about that, they are hiring new people, new people means that old people will still work on, on single player elements, but you will have new people because they're expanding to work on everything else. So don't worry about that. So a lot of interesting stuff is revealed for 2077, honestly I want to see single player first, then we can work on the rest, but replayability and mods, as well as the new game modes, can really push this game to be bigger than anything else they did so far, and I hope it succeeds. But that is everything we have for today, tell me down below in the comments what you think about it, and smash that like and subscribe button for more Cyberpunk 2077 videos. Also join our amazing community on Twitter and Discord. This is LKM signing out, and stay classy everyone, bye bye.